Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we got a new patch. Can you f***ing imagine? I can't, because it's been two freaking weeks before we got a new patch. In fact, it probably was even more than two weeks. It felt like a f***ing century, to be honest. With the new patch came a lot of new things that are going to be changed. One of those things is that Stiletto, my friend, got fixed. Could you imagine? Congratulations to every single rogue out there who's gonna be very happy with this change. But at the same time, they did us a little bit dirty. So there is a little glitch that pretty much when you take a fight with someone and then you end up killing that person and you ended up leaving up with like 10 HP, it's very likely now that the person that land that one last hit before he died is likely to kill you as well. So I think there's gonna be a lot more trades in the current day and age. The fix an issue where melee attacks would sometimes not deal damage to target hits at the last moment. GG. I would assume there's gonna be so many dead corpses now that it's actually gonna be quite ridiculous. So the, F the FSR option has been temporarily disabled for the testing purposes. I don't even know what that is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate. And well, I could actually Google that later, but still, if you let me know anyway, please do it. The training dummy has been reworked based on the character. The training dummy has been reworked based on kit on the character. What do you fucking mean by that? I have no idea. I genuinely have no fucking clue. How was it reworked? We'll figure that out once the game comes out from the update. The inventory system has been completely refactored. Interesting. Inventory system has been completely refactored. I gotta figure that out. Well, I mean, pretty much all we know is it got refactored. How was it? How did it get refactored? No idea. Is there gonna be more space? Maybe. Possible. All right. Items other than equipment will no longer have their loot state changed when looted from enemies. Is it that big of a deal? It is big of a deal because now people wouldn't be able to absolutely abuse the fuck out of the system when people were simply able to bring a whole bunch of sellables into the raid get killed and feed their friends bunch of ap by the way number of um, people from the leaderboard did that not gonna mention their name doesn't matter Gear score will now appear wh whenever it can be displayed gear score will now appear whenever it can be displayed sure okay in game chat has been added mm, in game chat has been added yo this is sick bro i like this idea i i do want to i do want to know how like it's basically basically so they added this in test ah no it's only i think it's only going to be if effective for the um for trios or for duos that's actually a good change a homie of mine always wanted this little feature and now he's going to have it a whisper feature has been added to chat a whisper feature so i would assume you would be able to communicate with people who are really close very nice leaderboards now display and times and rewards finally bro this is what i'm talking about yes this is the change everyone want to see because i would assume the wipe is about to come out really soon from what i heard the wipe is going to be on june 7th and basically um, yeah you do gotta know what you're gonna get for grinding the fucking demigod you know what i mean i might as well grind demigod as well because why the freak not you know what i mean well we we might as well do that now you can expand your stash further and it's a little cheaper great the final weekly quest has been added i was okay so they said that the pretty much the weekly quest will allow you to get a fucking cosmetic item yes the cosmetic item is what can what's going to be given to you as a reward for the weekly quest and um, if they didn't cap basically that's the reward you would get we apologize for the lack of updates over the last week this season was challenging and we're currently working on improving our internal process to ensure that the next season is done right for this hard fix we want to round out the current season on a strong note with some important quality of life and critical changes that we believe will reward current players and lay the groundwork for the future for the remaining duration of the season we'd still like to offer proper goals to work towards this hard fix adds the rewards for the leaderboard along with the sum account bound cosmetic rewards for the quests this season's leaderboard will be active until the may 31st afterwards we will have one week preseason period in preparation for the next season which will commence on june 7. this hotfix also brings a few critical features we want to get tested 
before the start of the next season. We have completely overhauled the inventory system to be more robust for future upgrades. Due to the scale of this refactoring, we foresee inventory bugs which we want to stomp out in time for the next season. We also implemented in-game chat and dungeon recovery system to make it a little easier to communicate and make dying in the game less punishing. We understand that it was tough this season, but as we reflect on all the we that all that we have learned from the experience and we look forward to everything in the store. We have very high hopes for the future. We hope to share more information regarding the upcoming season in a couple of weeks. We thank you for your patience and understanding. See you in the dungeons. See you in the dungeons. Pretty much that's the news we have for Putch. Well, to conclude, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very happy for every single rock out there because the stiletto was a big issue. It is one of the best, if not the best, rogue weapons, and unfortunately, because the game just didn't want to register hits, we were not able to fucking use it properly. Even though many of us still did, it was pain the ass to realize that number of hits just simply was registered, which ended up people simply not dying. Also, I'm glad that this fucking little change is added, because the number of times when I let the, the final hit and people didn't die and um but at the same time the amount of traits you would see the amount of blind corpses you would see is also going to be increased it's going to be a lot less common in case if you land a final headshot before you died that's going to be the gg death for both parties there's going to be a lot less encounters when um the game chose not to register your final hit you know, that final breath <laughs> before you end up passing out. So, which kind of makes sense. And I think it's the right thing to do. I can't wait to see what the um, in-game chat is going to be look like. Will you be able to chat with people around you? Will you be able to chat on solos? I want to know that too. I want to see how it's going to work. I can't wait to see what the whisper and I can't wait to see what the leaderboard is going to be like. Rewards are something that i was quite interested in seeing pretty much as the whole community but hear me out i haven't grinded for the demigod and i think it's probably maybe the good idea to go and get the leaderboard grind done especially if you're interested in getting the rewards i'm actually quite excited to see what we're gonna get i hope we're gonna get some cool cosmetics that are going to be you know one-time reward for Everyone who grinded their S off this swipe, you know what I mean. Hopefully, hopefully, the rewards that you will get, you will not be able to receive them in the future. Because in this case, the leaderboard grind would actually have value and make sense. And it would be a form of investment in the future of the game. Because getting the rare cosmetic items... Um, do actually possess volume, especially for people who care. Anyway, and with this, we want to conclude the video. I tested this idea to make a little announcement on the upcoming patches. Is this a good idea? I'm not sure. But uh, we'll get to see that. We'll get to see it in action. Anyway, it's demo. The patch is done. I'm going to be cooking my next video where I'm going to play on the class that I usually never play, which is Barbarian, right after this one. Hopefully the patch comes out faster than it's mentioned. Two hours, goddamn two hours is actually quite a damn bit. Oh well, it's okay. Once we get back to the game, I'm gonna be crafting another video where I'm gonna play my favorite class, which is Barb, as you all guys know. I'm back to use the Francesca Axis. I was kind of hated for using Francesca Axis. A lot of people told me that, hey, Francesca, you know, you're only fucking, you, you're only winning because you're bringing in fuck down of Francesca Axis. Sure thing I do. And that's how I like to play. And that's how I play. And that's how I play other games. If you have any problems, let me know down in the comments if you have, if you do, you know what I mean? <laughs> I will definitely read your comment and um, I'll give you my opinion and I'll respond to every comment like I usually do. Anyway, it's demo. I was too lazy to make a little post in the community, but I wasn't lazy to make a video. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a dungeon. Peace out.